Eric. Okay, good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm Eric Morell, I'm a criminal defense attorney in um, Middlesex County, and also a municipal court practitioner. Uh, today, tonight we're here for um, a seminar, basically, it's understanding the drug recognition evaluations. And we're going to go through a lot of different areas of how to understand the DRE. Um, we have here tonight Kevin Leckerman, who's a uh, practicing DWI attorney in uh, New Jersey. His office is in Cherry Hill. And he's handled about 1,000 DWI cases in New Jersey. He's also tried approximately 200. Um, he's briefed and argued uh, State versus Renshaw and State versus Kent. He's um, received extensive um, forensic drug and alcohol testing training. Um, and we also have here Herb Leckie, who's Vice President of DWI Consultants. Um, he's a DRE expert, and many of you, of course, have used him before, and we've all used him and had great uh, results. And he's going to be talking about um, some of the origins of the Drug Recognition Act evaluation program. He's going to be talking about the 12-step DRE protocol. He's going to give us the analysis of the DRE evaluation face sheet. He's also going to give us some DRE case law review, and um, Kevin Leckerman is also going to touch on that area. Um, the reason why we're all here today is because we actually had a private event um, in August, where um, Herb Leckie sat down with a few of the people in, in the audience and us and gave us a very good understanding of the drug recognition evaluation. And we thought it was such a good experience. We spent the day at the Helps Hotel in New Brunswick that we thought it was such a great experience that we wanted to bring it to the, the Middlesex County Bar Association and specifically the Municipal Court um, section. Um, I'm going to just talk a little bit about what the DRE course is and just give you a little synopsis. Basically, the DRE course teaches people that are DRE experts how to determine if someone is under the influence of the seven categories of drugs. And this program was started by the LA Police Department, the Los Angeles Police Department started this program. And it's regulated by NHTSA, which is the National Safety, I'm sorry, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration. They regulate it. And I learned from the seminar that it's very important when the test is done, it has to be standardized and systematic. <coughs> if the DRE officer, which of course we've all experienced from our cases, if this, the officer that's the designated DRE officer, if he doesn't follow all the rules, and the, if he doesn't follow all the rules, the results aren't going to be correct. And that's the key to this. And you're going to hear a lot from Herb Lecky regarding that and from Kevin Leckerman. Um, another important point is that the DRE has to be recertified every two years. And for people that are general practitioners in the municipal court arena, when you order discovery and there's a DRE, you should ask for the rolling logs and the program logs. And Kevin Leckerman will get into that a little bit more, and Herb will explain exactly what those are. But those are really um, key points in discovery for the DRE.